Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda if you're new here and I have a two-year-old named Maggie and today we are doing a group collab video all about decluttering and spring cleaning. This is the first time that I've ever hosted a collab so I'm really excited to be participating with some of my YouTube besties and some of my new YouTube friends as well. So I will link the playlist in the description that will have all of the videos in it so that you can check those out after you watch mine. Just go ahead and give those videos some love, leave a comment, and just check out the other ladies' channels to help them out as well as myself. Everyone's kind of just tackling a space in their home that they want to get ready for spring. And that's what I'm going to be doing today as well. I'm going to be tackling Maggie's room and the playroom slash guest room, which I'm in the guest room right now. I don't have a lot of stuff to get rid of or anything like that. I just want to go through everything and see where we're at. I think the biggest thing for me is I do want to have another child and I don't know if it's going to be a girl or a boy. So I'm holding on to all of Maggie's old stuff because hopefully if I have a girl, I can pass it on to her. And then of course, keeping things like the crib and the car seats and the high chair, all these other things that we have to find room for because we don't have a basement, we don't have an attic, we do not use our garage for storage. We have a 1500 square foot uh, single story home in Florida. So our closets are our only storage solutions. We don't have a lot of stuff, but the stuff that we do have, it's really important to me to keep it maintained and organized just for the mental clutter for myself, visual clutter, and so I can keep track of what we have so that we can play with it all and, and use it all as well. So that's just been a little bit of a struggle for me is holding on to stuff that Maggie's outgrown, but hopefully for the next baby and then what she's currently playing with. And then we have some stuff for the next age as well, like as far as clothing and developmental toys, things like that, that she's just not ready for. I also have in storage. So a lot of stuff to go through. So I'm excited to take you all along and I hope that you get some encouragement from this video, some motivation or just a little bit of entertainment. So let me just show you where we're at and then we'll get started with decluttering. This is the playroom slash guest room. And Maggie and I have been sleeping in here most nights, every night pretty much at a certain point for about a year now. And we just were ready to move on from that. So we are gonna get a pull out couch so that we have space for our moms to sleep, but that'll make this room more functional. So that's on the to-do list is to get a pull-out couch. We're not doing that right now though, so we'll just have to organize what we have. We have art supplies in here, her kitchen, all these little toys, and then that. This closet is like Christmas stuff, Halloween, all kinds of different things. So that is pretty much off limits because it's already pretty full. And then this is Maggie's room. She does start the night out in her bed. And our hope is to get a toddler bed very soon. We're gonna get rid of this mattress, which no one sleeps there. It's just, we kind of hang out and read books at night while she hangs out in her bed. And then we have so many books, as you guys know. Two baskets full of plushies. Seasonal books are over there, out of reach, or, you know, they're not the main focus. And we have some more developmental toys for the next age up, up there. Some stuff that we've grown out of. This whole thing is all baby toys clothes, high chair, clothes that she's wearing right now. And then all these bins have like random toys in there. I don't know what's in there. Actually I recently organized all this. So this is like high chair, changing pad for the next baby, bathtub, infant car seat. So like I said, it's really not that bad in here. I just want to get ready to have her toddler bed, which we're going to get sooner than later. And we might flip flop like the chair and move some stuff around. And yeah, here's her little get ready station, which she does use. There's a little too much out right now. By the way, I put her to sleep for her nap right now in my bed so that I can have access to both of these rooms so that I can try to get some stuff done while she's asleep. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is go through clothing and really look hard at the clothes she doesn't fit into any anymore that I've already put aside and decide if I wanna keep it for the next baby or donate it because we don't need bins on bins of clothes for the next baby, especially if it's not gonna be a girl. So <laughs> we're gonna start with clothing. gonna tackle the one bin of clothes which is the more recent sizes I think I have her first year of life in a big bin and it's already 
completely full to the brim and I'm not going to open it and go through it right now. I'll save that project for when I have another baby, but I can go through this and I'm going to transfer it to a bigger bin and then I'll have this pink one for toys that are that she's outgrowing. So we're going to go ahead and rotate the clothes. I'm going to go through them more thoroughly, see if there's anything I can pass on and then we'll have access to another bin. This would make me sad at all but it kind of is it always is hard to put away the kids clothes that don't fit anymore and like look at her tiny shoes forgot about these ah so cute she's getting big so fast now i'm gonna do the same thing with the baby toys that i put away as we've gone i think most of these will end up keeping but i'm gonna see if i can rearrange it into a better way since i have this other pink bin now i can do more of an organized situation instead of just tossing things in here willy-nilly. Oh my gosh, remember this? Remember when she took a passy and then she gave it up one day? Oh my gosh. All right, so I have all of our wooden toys and some baby books in here. And this is all the soft toys, my Solly wraps, all the loveys, crinkle toys. There's lots of room in both of these, so if I find anything as we're going that we want to put away, we can. Let's talk about puzzles. I was researching a puzzle holder that's made specifically for puzzles, and it seemed like nothing was going to work for the multiple different sizes and styles of puzzles that we have. So I found this at Target. This is from Bright Room. It's a steel organizer, and I believe you could actually like screw it in if you wanted more support, but this works great for all of our puzzles that are different sizes. Here, let me clean this stuff up. So for example, we have like the big lock one. This was also thrifted. Pretty much most of our stuff is thrifted. So that just fits perfectly on the bottom there and they can do like this bigger puzzle. And I know it'll hold a lot because it's steel. So pretty awesome. This is only $15 and compared to some of the other puzzle organizers out there, it's actually a really good deal. And I'm probably gonna get a second one as well for over here. You need some of those? Yeah. Those are baby Can we toys. Open it? No, those are baby toys. Baby toys. Yeah, we're gonna put those away. We're looking at your, your toys right now. I know. Yeah, those were your toys that we played with and now they're a little too small for you, so we're gonna put them away for the next baby. Yeah. Anyone who has tried to declutter their kids' stuff knows that it's impossible to do when they're awake because they just wanna play with everything. So I might have to put this project on pause or I told her we can go through the craft supplies and organize those. All right, I got all the craft supplies out of that rainbow thing that my friend Leslie gave me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but the drawers always fall out. So they are hard to manage because they just fall down and don't stay nice. So maybe that's why she was getting rid of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put all this stuff back and see if there's anything we can store for later. You're gonna do orange on his back? And oh, you want me to do orange on the back? Okay. Okay. Paint in here. Paint in here. Paint. This paintbrush is in here. Paint, thank you. Pam. Where are the paintbrushes? Can you pass me the duo dots? We're not going to open it right this second. Because we're cleaning up. All right, here's where we ended up. We have all the paint supplies on the top, including a little cover jacket and the duo dots, which we haven't done yet, but she's been asking to us. So we need to get those out. We have markers, colored pencils, glue, and scissors. See what I mean? This don't stay in. Maybe I'm missing something, but yeah. Okay. Seasonal, Christmas, fall, Valentine's I'm Day. Hold on, buddy. We have some more crayons and Play-Doh. 
stickers, nothing, craft supplies, like, you know, random stuff for whatever project we're doing, construction paper, empty, Ugh. stencils, rolling paper, and what's this called, laminate paper that we were using for like sun catchers and stuff, some little notebooks. And then over on the actual bookcase, I put all of the coloring books and stamps. In here, I put some of our more nature focused or more schooly type books. Most of these are all nature books right now. So we like to come in here and look at these occasionally. And then she really likes this bird sorting game. So that will just live right there because she gets it out all the time. And then down here we have musical instruments. Hey. And down in the bottom drawers is play food. So we have vegetables and stuff. We have a laundry kit and ice cream and more wooden food. And then I also have this pink thing that I got at Target in the dollar section. I'm going to keep this in the dining or in the kitchen, like where her stool is. And this is kind of her command center when I'm cooking and stuff. She likes to have stuff to do. So we have the water wow books, some plain computer printer paper, and some crayons for her to keep herself busy while I'm cooking. So that's all we're going to be able to do for today because I need to make dinner, but I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. We'll go through books and toys in Maggie's room. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's a couple days later. Maggie and I just spent four hours or more at the zoo, so I am exhausted. She is sleeping in my room again, and I'm in her room today so we can look through her books and her toys in her closet. Again, I don't really have much to get rid of, but we're going to see if there's anything we can rotate because it's always fun to rotate toys, even though she remembers everything she has and asks for it. <laughs> I actually have a very small pile of things to donate and she found the box and got a bunch of stuff out again. This is why it's hard to get rid of things because she remembers it and she loves it. So we're going to be very lean with what we're getting rid of. And I did talk to my friend Leanne who's having a baby girl and she said she will look through our donation of girls clothes. So that's exciting. That's going to a good home. So I might go through my baby box as well so I can see if there's anything for baby Wendy to take because I would rather my friend Leanne have stuff than just send it to Goodwill. We're gonna go through Maggie's toys now, see if there's anything we can put away. Yeah, do you think Maggie needs any more plushies? Oy vey. The goal is to get them all into one. I'm going to get rid of the other basket. These ones I'm going to put in storage. This is like a vintage Harry Potter head wig from when the books first came out. My mother-in-law sent this. This was Paul and Emily's. This was like before the movies even came out. So this is our special head wig. So I'm going to put him in storage, her in storage. This is our special Eeyore that we got when the Christopher Robin movie came out. And I'm just going to put this backup Elmo away, this stroller toy this little guy, and then I have a couple things I'm gonna donate as well, or just put in my closet that are mine. <laughs> okay, and here we have more thrifted toys. These are all organized really well. I'm just not sure if I wanna bring anything down for her to play with now. We have Mr. Potato Head, whatever these things are called. We have one of these. Um, houses from Melissa and Doug that you can practice unlocking. So she'll probably be interested in that right now. This puzzle we tried to do, it's a little advanced for her, so I'm gonna leave this one up. Beads for threading, telling time. Definitely hold on to this for later. I have two of these, so I might pass this one on or put it in storage. Let's see what this one's for. Ages three and up, so we're gonna hold on to that for later. Ages three to nine. Oh, you know what? She might like this one right now. This would be a good one to get down. And then we have some flashcards, some more musical instruments, and this is a matching game, which we're not quite ready for yet. Oh, I'm gonna get the Mr. Potato Head down, this, and this as well. But the other items can stay up. All right, starting with the first drawer, we've got felt books. This can come out and go on the shelf so we can actually look at it. 
What else? More felt toys. We do play with these occasionally. And then this beautiful wooden puzzle. I'm going to put this with the other puzzles, even though it's a little simple for her. And then if she doesn't really gravitate towards it, I might put that in storage. So these can all stay in here. In here, we have a small puzzle, which I would like her to get out more, so I'm not sure where I want to store this. We have this game. And then all of her wheelie toys. That's all fine in there. I think the big issue is just knowing what's in the drawer so she can play with it. Alright, more puzzles. This one is a wooden puzzle. We've got this one. It's pretty simple. She's pretty good at this. So I might honestly save this one. What age is it for? Ages 1 to 3. So we'll leave that one out for now. We've got her alphabet in here and then these awesome t puzzles honestly might get these back out these are a fun one but i might put these out on the shelf so she can see it all right in here oh baby toy baby toy that's good we can put those away we have some stacking toys oh this goes to one of the baby toys um stackers Ooh, another giraffe <laughs> these are like magnet stacking toys i'm gonna leave those in there this can go with the baby toys. This egg thing. And then I have some wooden blocks in here. Let's see, we have this felt wool hide and seek thing. This can be put with the baby stuff. Um, some more threading toys. The barnyard, she'd probably be interested in that right now. The barn, we used to have this one out a lot, so I might bring this one back out as a rotation. Wooden snake toy. See, it's like, I don't know where to keep these things because they're so random. That doesn't go in there. <laughs> Conditioner. So, good. We can put these all with the baby stuff. All right, this one's empty. I just consolidated into here. I put the little locking house out and some of these other puzzles to see if she is going to gravitate toward those. And then in this empty bin, for now, I'm going to put some costumes. So, like, we have these wings that I made. We have a little cattail, monarch wings. And then her play silk capes, which she just got this year. So we'll see if she starts playing with those. She hasn't really been playing with them much yet. So we'll just keep those nice and accessible in this little basket. And I'll put it on the lower shelf so she can reach it, no problem. And that'll just kind of make it feel a little less cluttered on her closet door. Then over here, this is actually mine, so I can go somewhere else. And then we just have her little robe. And yeah, that feels really nice. So getting rid of that one basket, now we just have plushies, dirty clothes, a nice beautiful display of books and toys. This one has all of her puppets. I'm not going to get anything out of here except for this crinkled book. Actually, we should just go through here. All right, puppets can stay. Puppets, 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 baby dolls, little drawstring bags. She does love these. Let me get these out. She might want to put her toys in there. Crinkle books can go away. This one's kind of like a rattle, so that can go in the baby section. And then these crocheted rattles as well. We've got a cabbage patch baby. Most of these are little baby clothes and puppets, so that can all stay in there. And then we'll just go ahead and put those rattle crochet things away in the baby bin. There we go. And like I said, she loves bags, <laughs> drawstring bags. She likes to put all her things into little baggies. So I'll see if she wants any of these out right now. All right, here's how Maggie's room is looking after it's cleaned up. I put all of our Easter books down here. I don't know if I mentioned, I got these, um, I guess they're pot lid holders off of Amazon. They're bamboo and they were only six or seven dollars each. I did go ahead and get two of them. So I have our Easter books in here right now. They just are excellent for stacking seasonal books. So I have these and then I have spring and garden books out in the living room right now. I just kind of like rearrange those books a little bit so they look nicer. All of our books out here, clean that off. And then I'm happy with how the closet, oopsie, <laughs> I'm happy with how the closet's looking. Nice and accessible. We do have these doors open a lot of the time, so it's important to me that it looks nice and part of the room. And of course, all her plushies are still right there. And I think what we just need to get better at is playing in here so she can play with what's in those drawers. I did pick up some more pledge. I don't know if you noticed. And the other day how dusty these shelves were but don't worry i was planning to clean them 
So we're gonna dust off all these shelves and make sure it's all in a nice arrangement. And then that's pretty much all we can do. So let's clean these real quick. Look at that dust. Wait, here we go. All right, drop me a comment down below if you still have one of these room essential cube organizers in your house from college. Cause you know, we love these things. They're so cheap, but they do their job. Okay, much better. Look how that smells too. Okay, I don't know what it is about this vlog, but I'm just not on my vlogging game. I just filmed a whole long clip of me cleaning, talking about puzzles, and I wasn't even recording. Let me show you what I did, I guess. I'm sorry, guys. I hope this vlog isn't too terrible. I just don't have any dramatic before and afters for you or like a big transformation. It's just staying on top of the items we already have and I'm just like not with it, so I apologize. <laughs> Anyway, I cleaned this table and I was saying that I've that we've had these two tables from Ikea for a very long time and I'm glad we didn't get rid of them because they're the perfect height for a toddler to do work at. And I brought down this puzzle that I showed you already. This was on top, but we have all these little puzzles. So I'm going to leave this out for her for when she wakes up from her nap. I think she's really going to enjoy this and we'll be able to talk about the different shapes and things like that. That'll be really fun. And then I also said that I found this threading activity in one of the drawers in her bedroom. This is like an introduction to sewing. So I'm going to put this activity over here in the craft section so we can do that sooner than later as well. Okay, here's a look at the playroom as well. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, but it was nice just to look at everything that we have on hand. I'm really glad I got that puzzle organizer. That's been really nice. We have all of our Legos in here, or Duplos, I guess you could say. Nature books, stamps, coloring books. Still have our musical instruments out and ready, the birds. We have this toddler game. I brought Mr. Potato Head out. All of our play kitchen food and laundry stuff's on the bottom. So yeah, very functional and it feels very bright and clean. I'm really looking forward to getting the couch bed, like I said, and kind of just make over this whole room. When we get that, I think we'll really decide on a theme. We're gonna probably paint the walls and just redo the whole room. And Maggie's room as well, super excited about her twin bed. We're gonna hopefully make steps towards more independent sleep for Maggie and just hopefully have another baby. And like, there's just so much stuff on the horizon that I'm hoping and praying for. So if you guys could join me in hoping and praying for that as well. And I just wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that it brought you some encouragement and motivation, if nothing else. And like I said, please check out the other ladies' videos in the description down below. They're all of my YouTube friends and I really love them and appreciate all of their support. So I'd love if you can go give them a look and a comment on their video as well. So once again, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.